sometimes. Sometimes you have, we've, uh, if I've been playing all day, sometimes you have a little problem just hearing me there once in a while. Save it? All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, all right, Will. This is, this is one that, uh, that we used to do. We'll just all, we're going to pick uh, a few here. I don't know just how many we'll do, but uh, this is one that Jimmy and Sonny and me used to do called Roll My Sweet Baby's Arm. Right here. One that we recorded uh, back. Save it, save it. Is that all right? You gonna do whistle on this one? All right. <laughs> Spence, you know, we last year at this time we did a couple of these down here. Just save it, save it. Okay. Bob, let me say this too. I enjoyed singing with you and Sonny and working with you and rehearsing. One thing about it, we worked real hard, got it down right. And when we done it on the stage, just exactly like it did on record. So let's see if we can do it. So. Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's do one called... Uh, let's do one called Blue-Eyed Darling, Jim. You, you want to do that one? Blue-Eyed Darling? This one was... This song here was on King Records in 1951, I do believe. Something like that. Right? Kick it off. Bob, as well as Sonny knows, when we went to work with Casey Clark, when I left Bill Monroe and Minya and Sonny teamed up as the Osmond brothers and recorded for RCA Victor and went to Detroit, Michigan. A lot of you people that loves bluegrass music really don't know what it is to try to make a living and push bluegrass music. Me and the Osmond brothers took our record out to a radio station in Detroit, Michigan who played country music. They said, we don't have no request for Bill Monroe's music, for Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs. I said, well, that's the kind of music we play. And I believe Bob was sitting right along the side. About three months later, this song here was their number one song in Detroit, Michigan, in every jukebox, selling record, and Will Pierce had out the song. You remember what it was, Bob? I'm in a jailhouse now. What it was, is a good but he was number two and we was number one in Detroit with bluegrass, right? Okay, 2020 vision and walking around blind. I've been to the doctor, he says I'm all right. I know he's lying, I'm losing my sight. He should have examined the eyes of my mind. 2020 vision and walking round by. Yeah, Lord. With my eyes wide open, I lay in my bed. Vision and walking round by. You just 
couldn't know her the way that I do. You said that she's wicked, and maybe it's true. But there's one thing I do know, she no longer mind. 20-20 vision and walking round blind. Thank you very much. We want to do you one more here, and this one will feature uh, Sonny and. Uh, uh, what do y'all? We don't have a little banjo picking here. Maybe, maybe some mandolin playing here. Y'all want to pick something together? Hey. We're gonna do you one more here, Jim. Yeah. I've got, I've got a new thing in bluegrass music. While there, while Sonny and Kenny is getting tuned, come here. Some guy holler, do it, Jimmy, do it, Jimmy, while I'm trying. <laughs> Bob looked at me and said, I forgot it. I ain't got mine, did you? Why did you just screw it off, Bob? Or what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you got yours, son? Hey, well, give us no. Hey, give us no no. Bring it up here. Y'all ain't gonna believe this right here. Nah. <laughs> of course, me and Bob Osborne try anything, you know. Yeah, you play that one. I'll tell you what. Uh, we, we, we'll now, just... while they're tuning, we don't have to have nobody play with. No, us. we just do it. No, wait, wait a minute. Now, you all have heard the song of the. the, the uh, <laughs> Carson ain't heard this. No, you've heard the song of the old Crossroads, the, the sacred song that was recorded many years ago by Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys. Jim and me were over there a while ago, and this little thing here is called, uh, it's called a hum-a-zoo. <laughs> and <laughs> we, no, we were over there just a while ago. Well, we want to add something to bluegrass music. This, this the humming zoo will do it. This will probably take away from it. Uh, this is Don't tell it to Bill Monroe, but the humming zoo will do it. I think that y'all will enjoy it. We, we were, the, the, the song, that, the old Crossroads, is, we were just kind of working on it, but it's, it's a sacred song. Now, get a key there, and let's see if I can, we'll, we'll do a lead and a tenor on these two little humming zoos here. Now y'all have to be quiet so we can hear our humming zoo here. <laughs> We just do it. Just do it. Just one, do it. One verse. Now, good. yeah. If it does all right, we might record this. No, I will. I will. If you ain't gonna do it, I'll do it. Do it. I'll play your part. All right. Give me a key there. Okay. Now leave, leave the guitar going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, that's enough for that. We're going to have uh, a little banjo picking here. We'll do one more thing for you. They've got some more things to take place here. Sonny, uh, some more blues.
Uh, before Jimmy Martin leaves, would you do the hit Parade of Love and the Osmonds will back you up on it? Will you do that for me? That's one of the, the best songs I think you ever did. Will you do that? Yeah, they'll be glad to. i tell you. Well, your boys, okay. all I'm joining, then I'll get them to do one of their records. Uh, do it, hit Parade of Love. Especially for Boney, Slim, Carlton Haney, we're going to do Hit Parade of Love. Jimmy and the Sunday Mountain Boys a big hand. Thank you, man. That's great singing. We'll get the Osmonds now to do a number, because Jimmy got to do one. What do y'all want to do? Is this in the album? Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. This, uh, this song, we've, we've got a, a new album out that hadn't been out very long, and, and uh, let us do you a, a song here that's an old one, but uh, I hope that you all would like it. Ronnie Reno and Dennis Digby and uh, Robbie and, and Sonny and myself. This one is a, a song that Roy Acuff made famous years and years ago, and we had a, the, the, the privilege of recording for our latest deck of album. I hope that you all like it. Fireball, man.